Sorry about that. I don't know if it worked or not, but damn. <clears throat> she fixed it a couple times, and I can't figure out why I paused like this. just popped between us out of nowhere. See you later, Hazel. There's, there's something in a tiny smell there in her face, maybe. I quietly back out of the room. As I shut the door in front of my face, I whispered to myself, What an intriguing person. From inside, I hear a muffled sing-song voice. I heard that... What? What does she say? What does she hear? Uh, Misha, um, I wasn't cheating with you. I swear. I swear. I wasn't. Wait, we're not going out yet. Uh, <laughs> wait, can you go with Misha? <gasps> Is that the secret one? Fuck, should I have read, should I have clicked read my book? Damn it. Oh, well. I like Misha. I don't know why. What you do? I jumped at the sudden appearance of Misha, who I had not heard approaching despite the completely empty hallway. Empty walls. Somehow she got check got him to jumping distance with, uh, with me without making a sum. Creepy. Really reminds me of that Kenji's nutty theory about a global feminist conspiracy, but I appreciate that aside. Oh fuck. And now it slowly comes back up. She's in standing slightly behind Mr. looking and looks like she um couldn't have heard that re the remark and that drew Mr.'s attention, but Mr. is very visible. Why visibly excited? No way. More importantly, who's in there? There's no clothes we need today. She tries to curiously peek past me, even though the door prevents her from seeing anyway. What are you doing here? You see so long that we had to come check what's wrong. It's no good, Acham. We were buzzing the quickie, you know. <laughs> Some of my fingers. <laughs> she <coughs> She wags her finger at me scoldingly. I found a plywood, but everything else is missing because you are tardy. Fuck off! Oh, sorry, I I have things here. I was gonna bring them. In. I was gonna bring them. I think we were up to some mischief, Chan. Who was in there with you? I wonder. Oh God. Oh God. What is this? Misha sighed and quickly Misha, pointing at her own ear a couple times. What? Uh, um. I didn't fuck her. <laughs> she didn't suck my dick. I didn't finger her. I. I didn't eat the butt. <laughs> She's in it immediately pushes her, her way past me. Opens the door and into the classroom I just left. I can only imagine the shock she's experiencing. Yep, so they thought I fucked her. Oh, I'll just be like, Oh, I mean, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> with, the, with Shizune's diligence and attitude, the, the insolence of daring to deface uh, school property by sleeping on top of that must be too much to bear. And indeed, she stares at Ren, frozen in place, apart from the slight, oh, slight, but noticeable trembling of her shoulders from suppressed rage, I'm sure. Instead of blowing up, she only takes a few deep breaths, <sighs> adjusts her glasses, and slams the door shut, turning the side first to Amisha. Ah, oh, fuck. Maybe she did blow up, but I can't understand it. She shoots a very loaded stare at me, too, as if it was somehow my father Ren sleeping on one of those tables. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I hope she's not getting any funny ideas about the reason my heart is. Hey man, you should just be like, yo, so like we did some things, you know. It was pretty fun. Um I'm a player. So, um, Misha, I love your hair. Your drills are beautiful. Now, um Shizune, can you wait outside real quick? We uh, gotta do some things on the table with Ren. So, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Hello. Rin's voice comes from the other side of the door and it ma makes a few it takes a few eye blinks <laughs> wait a minute how come no one's helping her open the door <laughs> she has no arms dude <laughs> it takes a few eye blinks to realize that she might have trouble opening, the, opening it I open the door to find Rin directly behind it looking at us half interested and half sleepy face this looks high as fuck hello Miss Tezuka what do you think you were doing you are uh, you absolutely are not permitted to do use school property for such a disgraceful activity. I'm sure it's it sure is suddenly very crowded in here. I didn't know I was popular. <laughs> it was hard to see whether she's happy or unhappy with the turn of events. At any rate, she ignores Mr. Shizune's and Mr. scolding, so they have no choice but to drop the issue. Sh Shizune taps Mr. Shoulder, uh, points at Rin, and makes some quick signs. Popularity aside, please do not do that anymore. So I'm assuming Shizune doesn't get s sarcasm. What? What the fuck? All right. Anyway, how's your project going? Will it be done for the festival? Rin looks at them blankly. Apparently, 
at ease under the pressure Sejune's cold stare is putting on her. I keep wondering about that myself, too. And we'll think about it harder. <laughs> wow, I love that. And Misha signs, you know, she Rin seems pretty chill. And Misha signs her reply to Shizune. Her face turns into an unsatisfied frown. Miss Tezuka, please try to take this seriously. It'll be this is it'll be a disaster. The, the wall looks like somehow someone threw open. Uh, so yeah, looks like someone threw. <laughs> Oh god! Throw up their lunch onto it. Oh god, fuck, what the fuck was that? Rin nods assertively. We'll think, we'll think more seriously. I love the sarcasm, bruh. Misha actually giggles at that, but Shizune doesn't even... Uh, doesn't... <laughs> doesn't even uh, after translation. Because Shizune doesn't play around like that. She just takes a. She just shakes her head and heads and takes the materials from me and takes off from Misha and the towel. Why wouldn't you, you know, want me to take it for you when it's a lot of stuff? Uh, whatever, bro. Uh, from me and Misha and towel. Okay. Rin frowns softly as she looks uh, after the retreating student council duel. How rude! It's true though. I must finish my project before the weekend. There will be dire consequences if I don't. I know the world as we know it. Like weekends usually are, but more dire. Much more dire. I'm MD. The fuck? Oh. Maybe I'll postpone my nap. To un to unforeseen to unforeseen future. I'm about to ask what project she has and what are these apolo apocalyptic consequences, but she keeps wa she keeps wa wait whoa. She walks back into the art classroom and I'm so sorry but my dear is killing me and I won't shave because I have a deal. Did you have anything to do? Would you mind giving me a hand? Oh. This paint can't it doesn't fit into my bag, but I need it. She kicks sliding into a huge can of paint that's lying on the floor next to the table she was sitting and sleeping on. It lets out a dog clang. But being a gentleman that I am, I'd actually pick it up. No, Heavy. Yeah, sure. What do you need to take it? Away. Okay. And with that, <laughs> she takes out to the hallway. Me and the paint uh, can't following. So there's a little choice of either of us. The hallway is quiet and empty now with Shizune and Michigan. So we, so we two leave towards the stairwell at the other end. Every 10 or 15 uh, or 20 steps, I have to change the can from one head to the other because... The thin cat handle that cuts into my palm. At least it keeps my arms uh, from tiring too fast. Rin shows up beside me with an uneven pace that I have trouble matching. Or maybe I am walking weird because of the extra weight. It seems that one of us is constantly walking too slow or too fast. I can't figure out which. Two, no. Two uh, flights of stairs below. God damn. Trouble appears in the form of a head nurse and his fox-like grin. Great. Hey nurse, how you doing? I'm not even looking forward to this. God damn it! Ah, Miss Nakai, what happened with us? I still got the wolf boss. Is that his voice? I don't even know. He nods cur uh, courteously to Rin, who does not acknowledge him back. Uh, then turns to me because obviously it's me who he had some business with. Uh, there's something I forgot to mention on Monday. I had to wait and pace impassively because I can't even begin to guess what he forgot. The feeling of that had a del delving deeper into my skin doesn't make me feel enthusiastic about this interruption either. It's about your medication. So you haven't been... Uh, wait, what? Since you haven't been uh, that long on your current medications, there might have, have been some unexpected side effects like a penis, which might require adjusting dosages or even, you know, changing it to another medication. So we have to do a few tests regularly, but what? But I... But what I want is for you to keep an eye on everything your condition feels off, if you get what I mean. Nausea, headache, anything, and come see me if something happens. 